alright. How you doing? Good, you? Well, first time for something like this. Wanted to go over a few things as I'm uh, restringing my rods here. Um, the line I use is Vanish Transitions by Berkeley. Four pounds is what I'm putting on. I'll run two, sometimes four. Stuff's invisible, fish don't see it. Good stuff. Um, rods I jig with, these are some uh, a tangled mess right now. Right now, oh, that's really good. Caught my fast snap. These are a cheaper, I don't know, I think I got them off Amazon or something. They're just an inline. Uh, quick drop, got a push button. I think Eagle Claw makes one, it's probably the same thing, it's a copy. Uh, quick drop, hit the button, jig drops, snap to set, adjustable drag, pretty sweet. I like to run these tungstens, and I run the fast snaps, quick change, and then about two foot above it, I'll run another jig or hook on a fast snap. Works out perfect. On the lower jig, you can put a wax wire maggot and throw a minnow up top. Minnow wiggles around, jigs your maggot or your wax worm. Or I like butter worms. All works great. I love the two hook setup. Works great. Um, Next, I'll show you uh, what I run on the ice. Automatic hook set that we got. These are homemade. This is the homemade automatic hook set. <clears throat> Eighth inch brass rod, bent to accept the line. Right there, coming down to my setup. I'll show you that setup in a minute. This is all three-quarter PVC. That's a cap. Coming back to a four-way. Three-quarter, three-quarter with a cap and a cap. This is a three-quarter 90-degree T with one inch, one inch 90 glued to the three-quarter T. Or not T, but 90. And then inside that is a, um, this is the lighter gauge. I don't know, I guess it's uh, schedule 20 in a one inch that accepts the rods perfect for the handle. Now what I like to do is once I get it set up, get dropped down the hole, I take a bobber and I pull some slack, give them about a foot to run with it. Now on the other end, I like to run a slip sinker down to a swivel. You could run a jig or I like to run a treble hook various sizes depending on what I'm fishing. Mostly we fish panfish, perch, crappie, giant bluegills. We like the giant bluegills. But uh, small treble hooks work great. So that's that. My flasher is a Hummingbird Helis 5 Ice Edition. Charging right now because I was just out at Black Machinin. Got horrible video sucked. Got an underwater camera. Off of you. I think it's the Micro 2. Doesn't record or nothing. This thing's great for the light bite. I've had them just this past weekend. I had them. They suck it in, spit it out. Never feel them hit. See them on the flasher. If you have one of these, when they suck it in, you could set the hook. Works great. Love it. Next is the battery box that I talked about in another video that I power my uh, all my lights and everything with. Um, simple switch turns it on. In the front here we got a cigarette lighter, USB, volt gauge, tell you how many volts you got. On the inside 
that's the batteries and the wiring battery I have a little shelf that I made out of Kydex sits in there then I could run you know extra accessories I got that iPhone charger and then these lights I get on Amazon the little USB lights with a switch you could run as another inline extension you could run multiple lights there's about a five foot cord on there that's what we run for those um, I don't know I just use these ultralight reels on these setups here they seem to work good keep the drag adjusted so they don't pull the whole thing down the hole I um, guess I could show you going off real quick hopefully I don't get hooked but uh, anyway fish pulls and bites boom everything goes flying don't mind all my crap at camp here it's not the best of conditions but it works alright well that's just a quick rundown of my setup I am going to try and make some videos this year of us fishing if we get some good ice it's coming we're in a warm up right now hopefully in two weeks we'll be back out there got any questions about anything I use let me know I'll be happy to answer. Mm -hmm.